M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at this version of the 5 watt US DX SDR QRP transceiver. And on the front of the case there, you'll see that it says SSB CW AM FM FT8, 15 meters, 20 meters, and 40 meters. Has a built in microphone just to the right hand side of the blue volume. The orange tune volume is there and you have a mode menu and on the side you can plug in your microphone headset I can see that small black button on that side so the only way to know what these are like is to test them now i have been testing the red corners one you can see the on off switch bnc connector and i'm pretty sure to change the firmware on these you do have to take them apart basically so looking forward to testing it it's a nice looking compact device it does say it's five watts you get the Bofeng style microphone. Now, yes, with the standard firmware, uh, the audio, TX audio might not be great, but the idea is to add some modified firmware and, um, and then see if we can improve it. So it's not an expensive device. It's probably half the price of, uh, of other products. So we'll, we'll test it out and let's see how we get on with it. I'll put the link in the description. Now in their link, there is a very long list of, of functions. Uh, they really have packed in the functions. So just scrolling through, I'm not going to read all that. It's everything we'd expect it to say. Of course, CW. They've also added a couple of interesting links. As you can see here, I'm just scrolling through them, looking at them now. These SDRs, you know, they're, 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 they're a bit of a breed, if you ask me. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them. You know, it's a hobby item and you can join the groups and interact with other members and there's many members on this group and discuss these different products. This is what it should look like. Perfect. And there's a GitHub link here. I've seen this link before, actually. They call it 3ME USDX. And the other one I've, I've looked at, this is the three one. And if you ever wondered how to get the, you know, the firmware, you literally click the green thing here. And then at the bottom it says download zip and when you download that you're using the, a, an ide program it looks like this and an arduino uno board to uh, to use that to load the firmware onto your device so there's a bit of a learning but that's i think that's the fun of it so i'll let you know how i get on with it bye for now videos to follow seven three